Hey y'all, uh, over here at uh, Brother Rich's uh, shop over here, uh, we get the trailer over here. I had a, a little leak and I, I had, when I was at Gingerman, I could see some light coming through when I was sleeping. And uh, sure as anything, this steel uh, header here is, um, you can see the trim, I don't know, I'll take you right on up there. Right up there, you can see that little gap there. Um, so I peeled everything that was in there out, wire wheeled everything scrape the, uh, the paint back a bit, you know, and we'll, we'll go ahead and, and uh, feather that edge down a little bit. But um, I'm gonna do the, the entire roof. Let's take you on up. This trailer's a 1992. Um, I think it's a 92. So uh, it's in, you know, it's in, it's in relatively bad shape. I mean, it's not bad, bad, but uh, we put the air conditioner on the top. We put a, uh, a vent in it as well. Um, it was just a standard, you know, double door trailer, cargo trailer. But I've already started uh, wire wheeling. I started here, and I've gone all the way around to the opposite front corner. Um, obviously, coming up these uh, these seams as well with the wire wheel, we're going to run over it with some 40 grit, either on a DA or on the electric sander. We tried to DA a little bit. And Richie's air compressor is not all that powerful, so... Uh, May end up just uh, running, uh, running an extension cord out to get a little palm sander. Uh, we, I can climb up here if I have to. I really don't like to. Um, but uh, that's it. We got this uh, product called Ther Thermacool, Henry, Henry brand Thermacool. I did a bunch of research on what to use. And uh, Tropicool, I'm sorry, that's what it's called, Tropicool. It's 100% silicone. You roll it right on. It's, uh, it, it'll be like a complete cover. It seals everything up. We also got uh, four tubes of this stuff that goes with it, um, the sealant. So everything I peeled off up there all day today with the scrapers, right? Peeling off all that hardened uh, acrylic, gray acrylic stuff. Um, and then wire wheeling, we'll clean it all up around that uh, vent top as well. Um, up there was more like uh, asphalt sealer i think i put tar type sealer on it it lasted a long time it wasn't leaking uh, but i did scrape it all off because because we're going to put the silicone on we're going to address everything up there um clean it all with uh, rubbing alcohol or acetone or something and um and get the roof sealed up before it gets too cold and, and uh, we can't do it we want to do it before winter because we don't want the rust to get any worse than it already is so that's what i'm doing while i'm waiting for the cylinder to come back from us chrome the uh, piston and, and uh, pin bearing clips and all that stuff came from uh, Mondo Kart on Monday. Uh, today's Wednesday. Um, brought the camera yesterday, went to Cleveland uh, with the wife. The wife had school, had a class at her uh, branch uh, in Cleveland. So I drove her over and hung out with Bob Krakowski. Hey, what's up, Bob? Um, hung out in Cleveland with Bobby and uh, picked up the... Uh, the Briggs Animal engine that he is so graciously uh, donated to the four-stroke laydown project. So um, we're, we really got to get busy on that. Of course, um, you know, there's this crazy talk of Daytona going on. I, I, you know what? Maybe maybe we take the four-stroke laydown. I could easily have that four-stroke go-kart done by Daytona. Um, no sense of taking the shifter cart. I mean, it doesn't have the good motor on it. I'm not going to go down there just to turn laps. But I would with the four-stroke because I've never driven one before. So um, something to think about. We're working on the trailer. Sun's going down. Shay's home. I'm going to go get some grub. Love you all. We'll talk to you later. We're praying for you.